Hey guys, today we're coming to you from Sparta Dragway, as we've always affectionately known it, St. Thomas Raceway Park or London Motorsports. Hopefully you can hear me. We got some juniors getting ready to do the runs. I'm out here at the gate. I wanted to show you guys from the road. So hopefully the ladies at the gate know that I'm on my way and I won't have any problems getting in. And uh, we'll go find a Chewy and then we'll check out what's going on today. I know there's point racing going on, but it's uh, it's an ongoing it's an ongoing thing. And today they're making up for a previous rain date on points racing. We're gonna try and get to talk to some of the drivers too. So we'll make a decent video out of this. Let's go check it out. Got a Chewy doing what he does. Actually, are zoomed all the way down and in. Gotta like the camo. <laughs> Are you okay with the hair? I'm gonna get a close up of your car. That purple just shows up way too well. And those rims! That's cool. To 
decided between the races here, staging lanes aren't busy, so we can walk around and get some close-ups. That's actually really sharp. Look at this little guy right here. It's one of it's more of the more unique looking rides here. Yeah, if you guys weren't going to do a run right now, I'd get you to tell me a thing or two about her. Yeah, I can meet up with you in a little bit if you want. Oh yeah, I'm going to try uh, between sessions here to get a walk through the pits. Alright, perfect. Right on, we'll see you then. Alright, the cars are running again, so we're going to get over here. Get a good spot. Get some more shots. Some more enjoyable stuff for you guys. Pretty good pass. Yeah, it was good. Quick. Yeah, not bad, eh? Yeah, also I thought for some reason there was uh, a quarter going today, a quarter mile. Uh, I think just testing most of the brackets, eight mile now. Still pretty fast. Yeah, it's good, right? <laughs> a little easier on parts doing that too, so it's kind of nice, right? Yeah, well, I can imagine. I myself have never been into that far into a build, yeah. but I sure can appreciate it, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of time, right? Last team year. effort by the looks of it, eh? What's that? Team effort. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Got to, everybody's got to kind of chip in. And it's, when you're short, people you certainly know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. So how, how much power should we have? Uh, we're, we're above eight. It's, we're never dying on just water, but well over eight. In a little truck like this, that's just yeah. hauling. Yeah, 2,500 pounds. So. That is like... Yeah, it's and it's still a little heavy for, for most, like most other cars, and it'll be a little bit lighter. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, it was good. So, so you guys will be running again, eh? Oh yeah, we got right another on. time trial, and then we'll get into eliminations. So. Right on. Yeah, right, well, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you run again shortly. Sure. I'm not sure what's great going on here. Don't let up, get into her. Thing sounds just vicious. I was about to go and get my free coffee from my sister back at her place. And I heard that, Z28, and I had to come film it before I take my break.
pretty quiet right now. Between heat, so to speak. Let's wait for Craig to get up here and then. We're gonna actually try and determine the optimal filming spot for here. Let's just gonna switch it up. So if you see a few different views today, you understand why. It's been a little bit since I've been out filming cars, racing. And it's just gonna try and hammer out the best spots. That way we can eventually have multiple cameras out here. If this works out and gets a really good response, I'll dedicate a second channel just to the racing out here at St. Thomas Motorsports Park. Raceway Park. I keep getting her up. St. Thomas Raceway Park. Die. This is the place to be focus. You can buy the seat, but you'll only need the edge. Isn't that Grand Ben's thing? <laughs> That's my thing. So, okay, right now I'm thinking we should go wander around the pits, have a look and see what's all out here. Nobody's running right now. Maybe get a better look at some of the cars. This guy's got Close the best camp well. spot right there. Right under the now, if you're going to race and you're going to travel, that's how you do it. One great big motor, well, not a motor, that's a bus. Yeah, that is no, a bus. There's no shortcuts here. Plus this is a full-size trailer. This is all the way. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's for junior dragsters. Yeah. That's crazy. Seeing this earlier, got to love the camo. Heard this, have no idea what's in it. It's bad. But never underestimate. Like you see a car over here, never underestimate what potential it could have. Makes you wonder, eh? Gotta love the old Malibus. Nice and clean shot. These guys fly down Talbot Street. <laughs> Pretty gorgeous. Well, we were looking up because my sister's rewatching through Married with Children mm. about what kind of car exactly is it that Al Bundy drives? A uh, Rambler, wasn't it? You think it was a Rambler? Wasn't it? Uh, Nova. Nope. We're standing right in front of one. Plymouth Duster. Yeah. It's beauty. Hey, did you get me going sideways? No, actually, I didn't. Did no. I miss it? You Oh, geez, yeah, we went back for lunch. Uh, and, oh, man, see, I told you we should have been up here. I, 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 I launched, I broke loose, and I was making a left turn just after the light. Oh, you're oh, only no. supposed to go straight out here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but it looks like you saved her well, though. Well, it's still intact. That's good, that's good. We'll have to, uh, you're going to be running again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're perfect. This went a little squirrely. I had to get yeah. shots of this dirt. But it was fun. <laughs> Just to show you guys what a nice start it looks like. A little the front end on that. It's a beauty. He's saying this is the American. Because, and actually I didn't know this, we only had the Valiant here. The Valiant was the Canadian, the Dart was the American. Interesting fact. You guys gotta see this song. She's a beast! Love seeing a beautiful built motor like that. Wow. Awesome. Now see, we do know our cars. But to know you enough to tell you, just by looking, I like to say this beautiful Malibu right here, to tell you what it would have had or what it has just by looking what's under that hood, I honestly couldn't tell you. I do believe Chewy said he knows this guy. And I heard this earlier, she sounds amazing. Get a close up of that blue sparkle for you guys. I don't know if the camera's picking it up so well. But you can see this beautiful blue sparkle in that too. 
up behind me. Get her done. Left it in the front. Oh, it looks like a gasser. Who would I be if I didn't actually take a minute to film this? Let's get the chute and the wheelie bars under there. Full cage. If I'm not mistaken, from what I've been, what research has shown, Craig, with this cage, he should be good to run down under eight. Because probably built to just go. Heard this guy run a couple times earlier. This is uh, quite the truck. Like I said, I honestly couldn't tell you guys a whole incredible lot about much of these cars, where they all sit in the point standings. But what I can tell you is when we see them moving, we're heading back up front. Nice trailer. So what you got here, an Oldsmobile, if I'm not mistaken, this car originally would only have had a 3.4 liter V6. I can guarantee you it has a lot more than that right now, as it sits. How's it going? Corvette Stingray. You sure it's a 71? No. <laughs> I love the line though. This is the paint job that Mega should have. How's it going? Not too bad. Hope you don't mind us getting a few close-ups. It's beautiful. I heard there was a little bit of a wire issue earlier. Yeah, we had the alternator wire that runs inside the chassis and popped back out. Yeah, but uh, we're lucky. Got her all fixed though? Yep. Right on. Yeah, I'm hoping to get a few good shots of this. Maybe a couple slow motion, flex those tires. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm trying to make sure it's clean. Trying to get doing a little bit more of the filming out here yeah. and uh, showcasing some of the finer cars that are, are running regularly. I'm not the biggest car nut, but I know good power when I see it. <laughs> Do you want to tell us anything about it? Oh, you go ahead. He's the driver, buddy. I'm just the ah. <laughs> Take a look inside. It's all painted up inside the chassis, which is nice. That's beautiful. Get a good shot for you guys. That's a tight fit. Mm -hmm. Love that wheel. So this young guy here, he's the pilot of this fair machine. Apparently. <laughs> you want to tell us what it's like to uh, run a rocket down the track? Well, so basically you get strapped in and you rev her up to about 6,500 and let go of a button and you feel all the power at once. And probably no better feeling in the world. Now that would uh, imagine you're running not just your standard V85 and that, right? Uh, so this car here is actually run on alcohol. Oh. So the carbs, alcohol, the engine's alcohol, it's all ran off alcohol. So you're talking some big numbers then? Uh, yes and no. It's kind of like a cleaner burning fuel. It's colder. It's better for the engine, I would say, but that's just my opinion. I'm no mechanic. I'm just the pilot. <laughs> Any rough estimate on numbers? Uh, I would say pretty near a thousand horse, under. That's got to be a 790 home. car, quarter mile, so. Real on your spine for you enough, right? Yeah, I know, I'm pretty <laughs> fortunate to drive it. That's great, man, that's great. Yeah, Head absolutely. On. Well, thank you for your, yeah, uh, for your time. And one more good shot. Okay. One more good passing shot of this beautiful that's machine. Right, right on. All right, on with checking out everything in the pits today. Ooh. Hang on. Just fun. I bet it is.
I'm telling you guys, there's some beautiful machines out here in any which way you look. Boom, look, there's another. <laughs> you guys seen this guy earlier when we were down talking to Chewy. A little bit closer view. There you go. You're not done already today, are you? Oh, well, I seen you down there talking to Chewy. Yeah, yeah that's true. Gone with the oil pressure, but I'm sure we'll see you again another weekend. All right, because I don't think I got a chance to get you uh, on camera doing a run yet. <laughs> we'll go from the Dragon to checking this one out. Very similar build, really. It's a nice machine. I mean, they're really, they're all nice. I mean, like, look at this guy right here. Craig wants this, this pink dragster. <laughs> Might as well show. They do actually have some food going here at the track today. So no worries if you decide you want to come out to the track one of these weekends. They do have some food here. It's making me hungry. You gonna buy me a burger? What? When I heard this earlier, it was just like, oh my god, I had to get a closer look. Absolutely vicious sounding machine. Well, there you go. Supercharged LT4, looks like an underdrive foot. Okay. There's a reason why this car sounds as mean as it does. This thing is vicious, dude. Supercharged LT4. Cold air kit, large with throttle body. And he's probably got a good tune on it, like the actual computer modified the amount of fuel and air. That's great. Yes. Folks, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but that black has got such a sparkle to it, a subtle sparkle to it. Heck yeah, that's a nice machine right there. And can you guess, if you can guess, write in the comments section down below what year of Mustang this is right here. We'll get a close up look at the motor too. Yeah, no, but it, it cools down really quickly. Yeah. Nice. Can I send a guess? You can, you can guess, the video's not posted yet. Okay, but I'm gonna guess a 71. Okay, Craig's guess would be a 71. All right, we'll get a little closer look at this guy here. This guy is going to drive like an organ. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Heard this earlier and I was like, there's no way, that's an Ecotech. Oh yeah. It's a beauty. That must have been fun fitting that in there. Do you help work on the car? Oh yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. As soon as you open the end, the hood, you're right so in there. How much uh, power you figure it's making? Maybe four ten, four fifteen. But uh, nice little car like this, so it should really gets up and goes. Yeah, twenty nine hundred pounds. So it's a little bit heavy, but it works good. It's consistent. That's what we built it for. So you're you're obviously you're doing the points runs here today then too, eh? Yep, running mod class. Right on. Yep. Right on. Well, thank you for sharing this with us. All right, starting with the junior dragsters coming up here. Can't tell you much about them other than it's pretty cool to see the youngsters get out here and do this too. Here you go.
about that, folks. Somebody was like thundering past me and trying to keep a steady shot. These bleachers cut a lot of flux. like just the right lane this run. So with just a bit of battery remaining, I came back down to see this guy and to get some, uh, just a little bit more action of the cars down from down this end of the track. The junior solids, these noisy little guys. Guys and girls, let me correct myself there. Shots fired.
missed it earlier, but that Plymouth Duster in the far lane, I guess he got a bit sideways. We're gonna see it do a better run though right now. We missed the earlier one, that went on lunch. Underneath those shade trees right there is the best spot to be on a day like today.
507 in the left lane. Yeah, I was waiting to see that launch. Hope you guys enjoyed the racing. I can't tell you, honestly, who the winners were today other than what you've seen in each individual race. But there's a lot of points racing, and by the sounds of it, a lot of it's done like bracket racing. And I know a little bit about bracket racing. But more or less, I like just coming out here and enjoying individual races. This is very local. If you're in the St. Thomas area, I mean, heck, it's it's worth a drive from wherever boats you are in southwestern Ontario. And if you're a racer and you didn't know about this track and you're not in the area, they have a, a website. I'm sure you just look it up. It's St. Thomas Raceway Park. I'm not sure the actual weight. St. Thomas Raceway Park.com. They're also on Facebook. Well, guys, before I'm completely overpowered by the sound of the juniors, I'm about done today. It's been a great day. It's hot though, and I have a low battery warning on the camera, so this is the last thing I can record here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please share it where the video is appropriate to be shared, anywhere there's racing. Let's get more people finding out knowing about St. Thomas Raceway Park. Show your support, thumbs up if you like the video, and all that other important YouTube stuff. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day. Oh, and yes, this will be a regular series on the channel. And if this gets enough support, I will create a dedicated channel for the track and be out here showing the locals as much as I can. Thanks again for watching guys, have a great day.